Hello, my name is Jessica Vasquez, and I will be informing you about rodent ulcers in felines. Now you're probably thinking, what is a rodent ulcer? It's normally located on a feline's upper lip. The photos on the right are some examples of what they could look like. They tend to look hairless and like red sores, and they're usually caused by an underlying disease. Here's a little fun fact for you. Some believe it's called a rodent ulcer because it's an old belief that rats or mice inflict these ulcers. They are caused by the underlying disease, which could be flea bite hypersensitivity, feline autopsy, which only means it's a reaction on their skin. Some other underlying disease could be diet. However, most of them are due to allergies. How can we tell if our feline pet has this lesion? Well, we have to look at the clinical signs. As generally found and recognized in the uh, upper lip, looking concave, it can also cause some behavioral change. Don't worry though, as nasty as it looks, it doesn't cause pain to our furry friends. Notice how I said furry friends? That's because it can affect dogs as well. This illness doesn't target a specific breed or age group. Although, some studies have indicated they do appear three times more in females and are more present from the ages younger than six. Diagnoses are established on how the ulcer appears. Some examinations can be CBC, skin scraping, fine needle aspirate, and cytology. The prognosis has to do with the underlying cause, which can vary from the flea bite hypersensitivity all the way to diet. To treat rodent ulcers, we have to know the underlying disease. For instance, if the diet is the issue, change your diet. If fleas are the problem, use flea prevention. In most cases, the ulcers tend to go away on their own. If they do not go away on their own and the underlying cause is unknown, the vet can prescribe symp symptomatic anti-inflammatory therapy. How can we go about preventing this disease, you might ask? Well, unfortunately, there's no real way to prevent ulcers unless you keep your patient indoors away and away from mosquitoes or other biting creatures. As an RVT, they must understand the clinical signs to be able to indicate them to the DVM. If medications are prescribed, they are also required to communicate effectively to the owner on how the medications are used. Rodent ulcers give veterinary me medicine an insight into the feline body and as well as their behavior. Now, for my last slide, here are some references that I used to complete this presentation. Thank you for your time and have a great day. <coughs> are generally aller- uh, Goss. Goss? I meant gosh. It's an old belief that writes rats. Now, how can we tell if our feline pet has, has this- Has this lesion? Ugh,